congressional correspondent Mary Bruce for more on this. And Mary, we know House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is going to put a resolution on the floor today to condemn the president's remarks. Yeah, George, House Democrats are trying to send a very clear message here. They do plan to vote tonight on this resolution that, quote, strongly condemns President Trump's racist comments, saying they have, quote, legitimized and increased fear and hatred of new Americans and people of color. Now, this is largely a symbolic move. And while Republicans, some say the Democrats here are simply playing politics, Democrats say they feel the need to send that strong message and that they are trying to get Republicans to go on the record here to force them to have to say where they stand on the president's President's remarks. Yeah, Republicans have not wanted to speak out on this at all. George, we have reached out to every single Republican in Congress, and so far the majority of them still are not commenting. And those who are, are offering a pretty muted response. Just a handful of Republicans here on the Hill have been willing to condemn the president's remarks. Even fewer are calling them racist. Tim Scott, the party's only African American in the Senate, called them unacceptable and racially offensive. Mitt Romney says they are destructive and dangerous. But Mitch McConnell, the top Republican in the Senate, George, still has not said a word about the president's remarks. Now, that is expected to change at his press conference here this afternoon. But, George, this just goes to show how far this Republican Party has now lined up behind the president and how loath they are to cross him. It George. is his party. Mary Bruce, thanks very much.